opportunity. The East African Law Society has criticized the Judicial Service Commission of handling the Gladys Cholet saga unprofessionally. The Society's chairman, James Mwamu, says the matter needs soberness to avoid denting the credibility of the Judicial Service Commission. Mwamu, who spoke to journalists on the sidelines of a constitutional seminar at a Nairobi hotel, says Kenyans may lose confidence in the judiciary depending on how the matter is resolved. Trying to answer one another in the press uh, is not augering well for the administration of justice. Uh, the judiciary has gone through a lot. We were expecting that uh, with the new judiciary we are going to build uh, a judiciary that Kenyans have hopes in. But every time you wake up what confronts you is uh, this, this uh, member of JSC is saying this, uh, the CRJ is saying this, and, and, and we think that um, there is a way that this matter should have been handled in a much more professional, mature way, without it ending that way. He has also urged Parliament to deal with the matter professionally following threats to disband the Judicial Service Commission. Even as Parliament takes up this matter, uh, it will also deal with it soberly. Uh, you do not um, angrily deal with an issue and say, because you have now removed the, C the CRJ, we are also going to remove you. Countries are never run, run, run like that. Institutions are never built on anger. They are never built on bitterness. Issue of disbanding the JSC uh, should be treated cautiously because disbanding JSC means uh, removing the JSC from the constitution. That is not possible. Removing those commissioners, I think, at this particular point is not necessary. The Law Society of Kenya is holding its elections by 31st of December. So. The other uh, commissioners, uh, I think Christine Mango and the other one who was appointed by Kibaki, their terms are coming to an end. The Judges and Majis Association are holding their elections today. So I think Parliament should wait. Uh, this uh, committee is going to be reconstituted uh, before taking up any drastic action. Shalei was sacked last week over a two billion shilling scandal, among other accusations. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I'm Angela Muerere for Capital TV. Yeah.